Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use the save wizard for PS4 Max. Um, the game I wanted to use was Kingdom Hearts 3, but it's one of the two games that has like a really, really large file size, like 600 megabytes, so it takes um, a lot of time to actually upload the save to the server and get it modified. So instead I'm going to pick another RPG, um, it's going to be Persona 5. So basically you're going to start on the actual ps4 console so if you can see it um i have a usb stick in the ps4 already so i'm going to go over to your settings then you're going to go down to where it says application save data management click on that and you're looking for save data on system storage because you want to move your save data from the system to the usb stick so it can be modified so that, and you go copy to USB storage device. Um, I would make a backup just in case. Um, okay, I'm gonna go down to Persona 5 right here. And I have game data one and two here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and copy both just in case. And yes, and yes. Now I chose Persona because the file size is like much smaller than Kingdom Hearts, so it should take forever to do anything with it. So that copies over, and I'm gonna come back to the laptop actually. So as you can see, I've already <coughs> opened the PS4 Save Wizard application. Um, assuming you've already downloaded it from the website, it's sixty dollars and you give you a license key type that in download the program and then voila so since that's been transferred over i'm gonna take my usb plug it into my computer once that happens it recognizes it and it pulls up the list of games that i have on my usb so what i'm gonna do come down here persona 5 double click it can see both save files on here so <coughs> most games have both a quick mode and a advanced mode I'm gonna use quick mode advanced modes for people who know like what they're doing with the, with the file like you know how to modify different things and find offsets etc I'm not that type of person so I use a uh, quick mode to use codes that are already on there so we're gonna go ahead and select quick mode you can see this one pops up instantly. Kingdom Hearts 3 takes like sometimes almost an hour. Um, also, as you can see, there's two codes on here. You can't really tell on the camera, but they're both in blue. Um, these are all in black. These are codes that Save Wizard themselves put on here. So you see you get max yen, max experience for all characters, max experience for equipped personas have all personas in compendium compendium like these are really good codes like you just select them um, there's also the quick level up for social stats which is already on here which gives you all your like charm guts kindness knowledge proficiency puts them like to just one point under max so you just level them up instantly but these codes um, like the party modifier um, I think it modifies and puts uh, a catchy in my party outside of the normal area. I mean, this isn't possible in most games, but in this game, I think it's a simple value you change to put them in your party in the save file. And this is also to give him his Loki um, persona from what I remember. So I'm also gonna go ahead and use Max Yin and I don't think I need max XP for all characters. I don't like being overpowered like that. But um, but yeah, this is like the quickest way to do it. Um, the website I like to go to is hackinformer.com. I'll put that in the description. Um, there's people on there who go into advanced mode and they're really smart and they actually put codes on the 
the site that you can use. So if you were to find a code that you want to try to put in, you would right click on any like outside cheat or like that and you select the option that says add cheat when you do that it will give you a description any comments you want to make and then you actually type in the codes here make sure you do type in the codes correctly because otherwise it could really corrupt your file so anyways I'm going to use the party the Loki and the Maxian and also have all personas in compendium so once you got the codes you want to use you hit apply and it'll say it's about to be overwritten hit yes and then, like I said I like this save file because it's small so it doesn't take very long to actually do it um, even when the servers are slow like they are today so let's see how long this one's gonna take usually it takes probably less than a minute but like I said the servers are slow today um <clears throat> so yeah uh, save wizard 60 bucks um, it was worth the purchase in my opinion um, not every game is added to their database instantly but usually you give it like a week sometimes two weeks um, games are added on um, I beat Kingdom Hearts 3 and then after that uh, they updated put Kingdom Hearts on there and then been using the uh, modifications also the community created or user created modifications which have been very fun since there's nothing as far as New Game Plus or anything like that on Kingdom Hearts 3 yet so Alright, so once it finishes doing its thing, it'll say cheat successfully applied. So you hit OK. And then you pull your USB stick out. Um, I can actually show you. Um, there's other games on here like Spider Man, Kingdom Hearts, well, all the Kingdom Hearts, Ryzen, there's even God of War, Star Ocean, which was pretty cool to have uh, codes on that. There's actually 207. Uh, modifications for Star Ocean. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's a lot of fun to have these type of things. It adds a lot of value to the games you have, like after you've beaten them, or if you just want an easier time playing them, honestly. So uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and remove my USB stick, and I'll take the camera with me here, and I'll go ahead and plug it in. Don't mind the uh, really dusty PS4. So, back to the system, you're going to go to where it says saved data on the USB storage device, because now you want to pull it from the USB to your system, which obviously you hit copy to system storage, and you would go and find Persona 5. Pretty sure I modified game data too, I believe. But go ahead and copy those over. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and load up Persona 5. Alright, so I just loaded up my Persona file and Minchito's Palace. Just looking around, <laughs> around, do not see Akechi anywhere. But then again, he's not really supposed to be in here in this part of the story. So, let's head on out, and let's see if the codes worked. So as you can see, got the money. The personas. Crapton. This isn't the whole compendium, but I know for a fact the compendium is full. Um, then here we go. Stats. And as you can see, Akechi is in my party. Level 99 as well. 
So that confirms the cuts do work. And there's Mr. Ketchy right there. Uh, can't really enter any battles here. I'm trying to play with one hand here just to show it. <clears throat> so let's go in here. Pretty sure there are enemies in here somewhere. Oh yeah, back here. Also, uh, not sure if it was this file or not, but I also went ahead and added um, like all the weapons, all weapons, all armors. All accessories and omnipotent orb. There's only supposed to be one. However, uh, you can see everyone has one, or a couple people have one. So everyone's pretty much invincible. Um, take it in a fight. Catchy's there. Hitting hard. So, yeah, it's. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can see Ketchy has Loki. Uh, ooh, he blocked that. Ooh, nice. Bam out of there so yeah that's uh, basically the quick way of how to use save wizard for PS4 um, like I said it's very fun uh, Kingdom Hearts has a lot of codes and it's growing even more especially with the uh, save editor out there now for Kingdom Hearts using advanced mode on the save wizard uh, but yeah any questions go ahead feel free to ask and uh, I'll try to answer them thanks guys